All right, you guys can keep working. I had not unpaused it, so I'm just gonna talk it through in case anyone watches the video. So we have this reaction happening. We've already written out and balanced it. Now we're trying to find the grams of everything left. Now, hopefully you guys took notes and have those steps. If you follow them in the exact order, usually you'll do okay. Now, is there anyone that wants a real calculator? Not wants it to keep, but would like to borrow it. Okay. Your phones are fine, but these are better at helping you not screw up on your order of operation. Thank you. You're welcome. I just need to charge it. It's fine. Do you want me to charge it right now? Do you have it? Yeah. Oh. Does everyone have this written down? So I go to the previous and show Judah. Thank you. You're welcome. Write it down real quick because I'm going to go back so he can read those steps. You two online, all right, give me a thumbs up if I can go to the other slide. Okay. Oh, where are they? So they're all right here. Are they all that way? Oh, geez. So they're the things underneath the stem. Okay, I'm going to start working through this. You do not need to look up, but if I don't ever work through it, it'll take forever. Can someone help me though real fast? What is the mass of MgCl2, the molar mass? 95. Okay. AgNO3? I'll just go 170. AgCl? 
All right. MGNL32. I got 148 too. I got 148 too. Okay. Yeah. According to the majority rule, Jonathan, you've been voted off the island. Oh, wow. <laughs> Davidson, I heard you uh, kick a lot of people off the group chat. Yeah. Then I got immortalized. I got memed. But it's okay. It, it is what it is. We're going there, Murray. Sometimes it's very obvious. Sometimes it's not obvious at all. But yeah, we're going there on how to do it faster. Did you get these numbers, Grace? Well, did you go to C? And you went for C, right? Or AGCL? What? Did you solve for AGCL? Um, oh, yes, yes, yes. Right here. Yes. Okay. I mean, the one I got for the top one doesn't really matter, but I got 45. Yeah. 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 She might have said, well, you might have said 49. I just heard it. I heard Okay. I don't know. So. Oh, I got you buy the tickets to the game? Like on the high school my, website or what? No. Most of us have a coach's pass. So I'm already using mine to get Joe in, but um, we can find out. Randy might have, he has one. <laughs> Probably. Okay. Okay. I don't know. Let's just check the option. Okay. Do we all agree that B is the limiting reaction? Yes. All right. You guys out there in the internet, you okay with B? Okay. Yeah. 
Okay. All right. Okay. Was it here, Fabian? You said you're stuck now. No, the next one after this one. You said you said the list is your object and your beam out. Yeah. No. no, you can't say that word. I can't tell you. It's on, it's on vacation, first of all, self care vacation. <laughs> self care vacation. Yeah, no. It's called it's a mental health week. Safe for you. You can't be sick. Wait, you're not allowed to say sick. Yeah, you can't say that. <laughs> it's personal okay. self care vacation. Okay. We're good. Is that a one? What do we have here, somebody? Oh my, that just was a disaster. I forgot how to do the last episode. You just said 5.2, right? Yeah. yeah. Right here? Yeah. That one doesn't really matter. It's, it's okay. I just rounded these different. Yeah, is this a 95? Either way, that doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, okay, hold on. Go ahead. Hold on. No, not at all. Okay, Murray, what? On the test, they should be, they should have four total sig figs on your answer. Yes, Cooper Lloyd. So wouldn't it just be a limiting, is the limiting reactant that you bring down the binder B or like why do Yes. Okay. Once you know the limiting reactant, everything starts with that now. So I need another, oh, I just did it. Never mind, it's right here. Okay, so that was where I found how much D. And yes, now I need the other one. Are you ready? What am I solving for this time? Uh, you're solving for A. Okay, I'm solving for grams of A, and then I'm gonna write right here, used. The grams of A used. Okay. I always start the picket fence with my limiting reactant. Bless you. There was a one in front of A, was there not? Okay, thank you. And what's the grams on A? 95. All right. Anyone have that number already? Oh boy, hold on, we got some debate. Four point seven five. No, I got oh, three point three five. Is that what you got? Yeah, three point three five. No, I just thought that seventeen times two is twenty-four. <laughs> That's not right. Okay, three point three five grams of A used. Is this a number I'm going to use in my problem? No. No, or is an answer. So I now take my initial focus here. So I had 16.25 was my initial. Probably. You said 
Okay, now to check my work, I take 10.09 plus 5.2 plus 12.9. And what do you get? So 28.1. Okay, good enough. We come up here. Oh, come on. What do we have right here? 28.25, so we were close, just rounding. She said even it was a 28.2 something. So we know we'd be fine. Now, don't get this one wrong. We have A, we have D, we have C, but on the test it asks for all of them. So you should say B is how many grams? Zero. Zero. Well, Sorry, zero. So the limiting reactant, its mass is always zero at the end. LR, yes sir. The tickets are all sold out. Okay, we'll, we'll find a way. Should I come anywhere or should I? Yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure Randy does not have a companion. Okay. If not, then I can grab that call with my head. If not, we'll throw you the blue card. <laughs> okay. Yes. Right here. Yeah. This was just my check. I'm making sure my masses at the end add up to the masses I started with. It's just a check to make sure I'm correct. I come up here, the original mass are these two added together. So the sum of the reactants must equal the sum of everything at the end. And so that we were just checking that they did. So this is not part of the problem. This was just me saying, hey, did we do this right? Yeah, we did. The other thing I would cross out, by the way, is this, remember? Because this is not used ever. That was our check. Okay, and some of you, after the next five minutes, are not going to use that anymore. All right. Are we, are we all right, sort of, stepwise? We feeling no? I got a big fat no in the back, not the back back. How are we doing, Soraya? Medium, okay. Okay, yes, Cooper Lloyd. Because that, this would have only been produced if there was enough of this to do it. Well, enough of this, I should say. But we learned there wasn't. So it's like, how many cookies could I make with the amount of flour I could? I could make 50. Chocolate chips, 25. Well, I need both. So really, I could only make 25 cookies. Okay. Okay. Did you say that's big brain? Oh my. Why don't you hang out with my son more often? That one. Oh, did you see how my rectangle connected so well there? Thank you. All right, my friends. Only, only use what I'm about to say if it makes sense. If it doesn't, do everything that we were just doing. So here's a faster way to determine the limiting reactant. Convert both reactants to moles. Compare the ratio of their coefficients. When in doubt, do some math. The smaller number is the limiting reactant. Okay, so the first step is to convert both reactants to moles. All right, so I'm going to go back to our previous problem convert both to moles, and that is by taking the given and dividing it by molar mass. 
Hey, do you still need me on this slide? Let me know when you're ready for me to move on. All right, no one's let me know. Grace put her pencil down, that's a good sign. Anyone need me on this page longer? Okay, I'm going back to this previous problem. Maybe if the screen will let me, here we go. This is where we were, right? And remember, we know B is limiting reactant. So remember that, because I'm about to erase. Sad day, okay. So I'm going to convert both of these to moles. So I take 16.25, hold on, I don't want to do a lot of this again. Let me just draw a white rectangle over the ones I don't want. Oh gosh. <laughs> this is like me every time I do plumbing. I'm like, it can't be that hard. And then it just never works. <laughs> Okay, here we go. The reason I did that is I still wanted these numbers. Okay, so I'm going to take 16.25 and divide it by its molar mass. That's MgCl2, so that's 95. Someone tell me that number. 0.17? Okay, then I'm gonna take 12 and I'm gonna divide it by 170. And that equals 0 0.07. Okay, now please look. I need twice as much of this as I do that. So let me come up here. Let me come up here. Let me adjust this camera in case they want to see what I'm pointing at. Okay, so I ask myself, I look at my coefficients, all right? The coefficients, look at me, what is, why am I looking over there? The coefficients say for this reaction to work, I need two times as much AgNO3 as MgCl2. Okay, so look right here. I then say, I find the one that's a two, and I say is 0 0.07 twice as big as 0.17? The answer is no, which means this value indicates my limiting reactant. And that would tell me it was B. Hold on. Right, with your mask in your hand, I probably couldn't understand anything you just said. It's okay, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's look right here and say this is point, we're making it up, but we'll pay, say this is 0. 0.75. So look at me, we'd say is 0. 0.75 at least two times bigger than that? If the answer was yes, then this one would be my limiting reaction. Okay with that? Now, if this was 0. 0.34, we would say is 0.34 at least twice as much as that? You're like, it is twice as much as that. That means there is no limiting reactant. They both run out at the same time. And that's super rare. Go ahead. Yes. So then what you would do, Soraya says, well, I still have to find the masses. So yeah, it's not a huge shortcut. It is a little shortcut. Excuse me, because now, let me just finish. Now we know this is my limiting reactant and, show, and I'll show you how. We know we're gonna start a picket fence, which was the limiting reactant again, <laughs> I already forgot. B, I'm gonna say 0 0.07 moles, B. 
from the balanced equation, what was in front of B? A two, right? Two moles B, one mole C, one mole C, and I don't remember the grams of C. 0 0.07 moles B, two moles B. I don't remember, let's say two moles D, one mole D, grams D. So we would know right off the limiting reactant was B, the grams of B is zero, and we could get these two quicker than we had before. Yeah, all we are really ultimately doing, I'm gonna, oh, why do I erase all that? I'll just go back to another one. What we're doing is we're saying, all right, well, I already did this part. I'm starting right here with my limiting reactant. So it shortens it. But if it doesn't make sense, don't do it. Don't even consider doing it. I will be livid. Yes. Will you ever have like fractions? In the coefficients? Uh, yeah. You can. And that's fine, you can put them in. All right, now, hold on. Murray said, can you just look at it? And that's tricky. The answer for some of them is absolutely. Right. Right. Right, there's only one tiny hiccup to his plan. And it's true, this one, you can see it if you kind of grasp it. The hiccup is sometimes the coefficients will screw you over. So it was, a, it was a one to two ratio. And that, like, we can picture that in our head. But sometimes it might be like a five to eight ratio. And you're like, I don't, I don't know. Then you just do the math. And it's tricky. Okay, now, I don't care how you do it. But let's try another one that doesn't have all the answers. Which one do you want to do? Let's just do this one. It, I know, I'm going to get rid of them with my magic white. Oh, freak. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, they're all right there still. Okay. This one's easier because it's only three total species. It would have been easier for me to just rewrite this. <laughs> okay, so let me tell you what it's trying to say. It's trying to say you are starting with 25 grams of Li and 50 grams of Br2. And we want to know the grams of Li, grams of Br2, and grams of LiBr left over. I know those are ugly, but the slate, sometimes it lags. Okay. This one's really not that bad because finding the molar masses is a piece of cake. The numbers are not that bad. Okay. I'm going to pause it, and if I don't unpause it, I'm giving everyone in this class two use. Close. So close. Okay. So I did two picket fences and I found one was that number and the other was 54.4. Yeah, I don't know what this number was, but it's 300 maybe or something like that. So that told me that BR2 was my limiting reactant. Now the shorter way to do it, we could have taken 25 divided by seven. All right, and that's like 3.5 ish. And 50 divided by a number I don't know, 0.3. And we would have said, all right, is 3.5 at least two times bigger than that? Yes, that would have meant BR2 is my limiting reactant and BR2 would be zero. I know I'm flying. Okay, now, 
Now, once we know our limiting reactant, we did a picket fence and we solved for the BR to LIBR. And then we used the limiting reactant to calculate excess used and subtract it from the initial. So I took my 50 divided by 160, times it by two and by seven, and I get that there was 4.375 grams used. So my initial was 25. I subtract 4.375, and that gave me 20.625 excess, and now I had all my answers. I had 20.625, 54.4, and zero. If I add these up, we should get pretty much 75 grams, which means I would be correct. Okay, this weekend, there's a worksheet out there. I don't think it's limiting reactants. It's just basic um, stoichiometry. So there's the net ionic practice, and then there's the stoichiometry practice part one, which is the easy one. I'll probably add two, just two of these that you can do that I'll have you submit separate as a part two assignment. I think this is easier than the ionic. Well, most people like math better than chemistry, sadly. So we're yep, they're both on Canvas. The net ionic one is all, it's due today, but you can still turn it in, but try and get it by Monday. I think it was due today. The net ionic practice. This was a few days ago when you were reading. I know. Yeah.